After teaching a lesson in the classroom, we want to find out where our students are in the learning process and have they met the target at hand. The strategy I'm going to share with you is called exit slip or entrance slip. When students enter or begin the lesson, they are presented with the goal for the lesson. At the conclusion, they complete a brief simple assessment that the teacher can use to assess their skill level on the learning goal and determine what they need to do next. The exit slip and entrance slip is definitely something quick that you can do at the end of the lesson or prior to to find out if your students are understanding the content. So you're going to pose the question at the end of the lesson or at the start of class the following day related to the content that you've taught. You can state the prompt orally to your students or you can project it visually on an overhead, blackboard, smart board, whatever resources that you prefer to use. Some prompt examples might be, if you're looking to emphasize the process of learning, you might ask your students to write a question they still have, or was there, have them write something that they didn't understand. If you want to assess the effectiveness of instruction, did you enjoy working with a partner today, might be one of the questions. Or you may ask if they worked in a small group, did they like that? What did they get out of it? What were some pros and cons? Some other examples might be asking students to explain the process of something or to explain how they came up with the response. Students respond to the prompt on an index card or piece of paper. If you can use something novel that kind of intrigues your students and kind of gets them wanting to do it. Using colored paper that's cut into pieces, index cards, anything that you have on hand would be fine. This is going to provide you with quick, quick feedback about the level of understanding. One example might be, on your exit slip, explain the difference between an acute angle and an obtuse angle. When collecting the responses from your students, you're going to organize those into two stacks. One of the, stack, one of the stacks might be on target, met the learning goal, they're right on track, they're ready to move forward. The other stack might be, hmm, they might need a little bit more practice, they're close, they're not quite there, um, maybe not enough evidence to really kind of show you where they are. This is definitely going to help assist within your planning for future instruction. So once you've identified those students, then the next day you may pull those students that didn't get it to an area in the room to do some reteaching, question and answer, whatever you feel is necessary to help those students meet the learning target. Be sure to have something for those students that were on target to work on during this time. And remember, it shouldn't take a whole class period. It may only take you of the first few minutes of class. And remember, there's no need to reteach the entire class the lesson if the entire class does not need that reteaching. Here's some contact information from myself as well as my colleagues. So feel free to contact me or your area's data and assessment specialist if you have any questions or needs in this area.